NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. Now I am going to discuss about periodic calculations. In a power system, all the parameters, generating power, generating voltage, current, and impedance, all the parameters are represented by a unique value per unit. Okay, because if we represent the all the parameters by the per unit, uh, very easiest to analyze the power system. Now we will discuss first uh, formulas. What are what all are the formulas we have to remember for the Gombardi examinations uh, in period calculations? Okay. Second one, we will discuss some question and solutions from the previous Gombardi examinations. Maybe GATE, IES, ISRO, and other government engineer examinations. Okay. Then we uh, pose some questions. Let's try the questions. Next, we will discuss summary. First one is uh, formulas. The first formula, the periodic value means uh, actual value to base value, the ratio of actual value to base value. Okay. In the power system, a base value is defined. Okay. Uh, the uh, I period, current in period is equal to current in actual current value by base current value. Similarly, impedance. Impedance in per unit is equal to impedance actual impedance by base impedance. Voltage in per unit is equal to voltage actual by voltage base value. VA power, VA per unit is equal to VA actual by VA base power. Okay. In the transmission, in the transformer, power is represented as V. Okay. Base current calculations. The relations. Uh, we know that power V is equal to VL in the IL for single phase. So, uh, VA base power, power is equal to VA base. VA base is equal to V base into I base. So, I base is equal to VA base by V base for single phase system. This is the relation between I base, VA base and V base. If VA base and V base value is given, to calculate the I base value, we may use this formula. Okay. If actual value and base value is given, we have to calculate. We, we may calculate the period value by using the first formula. If three base, we know that power is equal to root three into VL IL for three base. So VA base is equal to root three into V base I base. So I base is equal to VA base by root three into V base. This is for three base system. If VA base and V base is given to calculate the I base, use this formula for three base system. Okay. Then. Base impedance, the relations, base impedance relations. We know that Z is equal to V by I. Impedance is equal to voltage by current. Okay. So, we may say Z base, impedance in space is equal to voltage base by I base. If voltage base value is given, I base value is given to calculate this Z base, we may use this formula. Okay. But generally in, in the power system, uh, VA base, power in base, voltage in base value is given, generally given. So, we have to calculate the relations between the uh, VA base and V base. Okay. So, V may represent the power P is equal to V square by R impedance. So, P is equal to V square by Z for single base as well as three base for both. Okay. Uh, because P is equal to V into I, I is equal to V by R. So, power is equal to V square by impedance Z. Okay. So, power in base, VA base is equal to V base the whole square divided by Z base. Okay. So, we may write Z base is equal to V base the whole square divided by VA base for both the single phase as well as uh, three phase. If VA base and V base value is given to calculate the Z base value, we may use this formula. Okay. Then, if VA base and V base value is given, we may calculate the Z base value. Base values, VA base and V base values changes. What will be the changes in the impedance? So, we know that Z per unit volt previous value is equal to Z actual by Z base volt. Okay, we know that per unit value is actual by base value. So, Z per unit volt is equal to Z actual by Z base volt. So, we know the Z base relation substitute in this equation. So, we will get is it actually into VA base all by V base all this all square? Okay. Now, is it when new is equal to is it actually by Z base new? Okay. Now the base values are changes. Okay. 
So substitute the z base nu in this equation. So we will get z actually into v a base nu by a base nu the whole square. We will get okay. So z bar you divide both the equation. Z bar nu is equal to z bar whole is equal to the z actual z actual will be cancelled. You will get v a base nu by v a base whole into v base whole the whole square divided by v base nu the whole square. Okay. In the power system, v a base is given. V base is given. Okay. We we may calculate we can calculate the z per unit. Now, v a base values changes, and v base values also changes. We we can calculate the z per new z per unit. Z per unit. Okay. But if v a base new, v a base old, v a base old and v a base new is known, we can calculate the new z per units by using this formula. Okay. So this number this formula is very important formula. Then base voltage and transformer. If in the transformer primary side base voltage is given, primary side base voltage is given. We go to calculate the secondary side base voltage. So we know that ratio transfer ratio V two by V one is equal to n two by n one. Similarly, V two base by V one base is equal to n two by n one. So uh, if V one base is known, primary side base is known, we can calculate the V two base by using by using this formula. Then. V A base on transfer power on transfer. We know that power on primary side and secondary side are both the same. So V A base on primary is equal to V A base on secondary. If we know if known the primary side power V A base, uh, we, that is equal to secondary side base. Okay. Finally, the inertia constant of synchronous generator, the inertia constant H is inversely proportional to the M V rating. H actual is inversely proportional to M V actual. H per unit is equal to H actual by H base value. So H per new is equal to M A base new by M B actual. Base is inversely proportional. We know that H per unit is equal to actual by base, but he is inversely proportional. So base by actual. H per new is equal to H actual by H base. So H per old is equal to M A base old by M A base new. So H per new by old is equal to M A base old by M A base new. That's. So okay, these are the formula. Next, we will discuss uh, some problems on the government examinations. The first question is asked in gate 2010, gate 2010 triple examinations. Power supply layout is given. Uh, we go to find the impedance diagram. Base voltage is 25 kV on the generator side and 200 MVA. But the generator power is 100 MVA, but base MVA is 200 MVA. Okay. Uh, in the option A, generator per unit is equal to 0.18. Here 0.18. C option C 0.21. Option D 0.21. Okay. First we will calculate the generator per unit. Okay. So here generator impedance is 9 percentage. 9 percentage is given. It means that 0.09 per unit. If the base value is 25 kVA and base power is 100 MVA, if base voltage is 25 kV and base power is 100 MVA, the period of new period will be 0.09. But here base value is different. Base power is different. Okay. So use the uh, formula. Here x per unit new is equal to x per unit old into V A base new by V A base old into V base old to the old square divided by V A base. V base new the old square. Okay. We know that x per unit old 0.09. V A base old 100 MVA. V A base new 200 MVA. V base old 25 MKV. V base new 25 KV. Substitute all the values in this. We can cal calculate the. We can get the x per unit new value. Okay. Just substitute. Okay. The answer will be 0.18 per unit. Okay. In the option C and D. Per unit values of generator is 0.21, so option C and option D is wrong. Okay. Next, we have to calculate the per unit value of transformer. In the option A and option B, the per unit value of transformer is 0.21. So, so no need to calculate the per unit values of transformer because both are same values. So we cannot eliminate the options. But in the transmission line. The per unit value of transmission line for option A is 0.42, option B is 0.62. If we calculate the per unit value of transmission line, 
pick and uh, eliminate pick and eliminate the options a and b anyone okay from that we can find the correct options so find the period value of transmission line here base here actual value is given actual value is 150 ohms actual value is given we have to calculate the period value so uh, we know that period is equal to actual by base value so we have to calculate the base value first okay here this transmit actually in the transmission line is located the secondary side on the transformer but the base value is given on the primary side so we have to calculate the base on secondary of the transformer okay so we know that x base is equal to v base whole square by va base okay so v base is 25 kv but in, on primary side but we have to calculate the v base on secondary side so use the transformer formula ratio formula v2 base by v1 base is equal to transformer ratio okay so v2 base secondary side line is equal to v1 base 25 kv in the ratio 220 kv by 225 kv okay the ratio this is ratio so substitute the values 25 kv into 220 kv divided by 225 kv we will get 220 kv this is a base voltage on the secondary side this is the base voltage of transmission line because the transmission line is located on the secondary side of the transformer t1 okay now uh, we have to calculate the va base va base of the uh, secondary side in the transformer va base uh, previous side and secondary side both are same so the primary side va base is given 200 mb is choose we got to choose so the second side va base will be 200 mb now va base value is known v base known v base value is known we can calculate the x base the x base is equal to v base whole square v base value 220 kb the whole square 220 into 3 because kilo volt divided by va base 20 mb so 220 into 6 mega 220 into 6 we can get the answer is 242 ohms okay now x actual and x base values are known so we can calculate the x per unit x per unit is equal to actual by base 150 by 242 so answer is 0.62 option b is j0.2 is correct option a is wrong okay next the second question is in the synchronous generator the power is given and voltage is given x per unit is given now the x per now we got to calculate the x per unit value for the new base new base value 100 mv and the new voltage okay just use this formula x, x per unit is equal to x per volt into va base new by va base volt into v base volt to the volt square by v, v base new volt square okay all the parameters are known x per, x per volt 0.4 va base new va base new means 100 mv v base volt means 75 mv v base volt means 10 kv v base new means 11 kv just apply this sub, just just substitute in this equation we will get the experiment new value so experiment new is equal to 0.4 in the 100 in the 106 0 by 75 in the 10 power 6 10 power 6 means mega volt ampere mega means 10 power 6 okay here 10 into 10 power 3 kilo kilo means 10 power 3 substitute all the values we will get the answer is 0.4 folks so option d is correct okay now do it yourself the first question this question is asked in tamil nadu electricity board assembly examination 2018 okay the objective is to find the base voltage on the transmission line base voltage of generator is given okay base voltage is given okay but we have to find the base voltage on the transmission line secondary side okay the second question is the initial constant the initial period value of inertia is given we got to calculate the new height per unit new inertia constant per in per unit for the base value of 400 mbv okay here old mbv is given new mbv is given we got to find the new h per unit okay h per unit old is given okay let's apply this formula this question is asked in Tamil Nadu electricity board as in exam in 2017 okay third question this question is asked in TNBA question 17. Here, objective is to find the new period evidence values. Uh, the base values, old base values. These are old base values. This is old period value. Now the base values are changes from 13.2 to 13.8. 
30 MA to 50 MA, what will be the new permit? Okay. Solve the three questions and command your answers. Okay. Now summary. First one is actually bearing value is your actual value base value. Okay. This first formula. The second formula. Uh, if VA base and V base is given, you may calculate the I base by using this formula. I base is equal to VA base by V base for single phase. For three base, I base is equal to VA base by root 3 into V base. Okay. Fourth one, Z base, impedance. Z base is equal to V base whole square. Uh, v square by, v square by P. P is equal to V square by Z. So, Z is equal to V square by P. That's all. Fifth one, New base values are given, uh, old base values are given, we go to calculate the new, new minutes. Use this formula. Then, if the transverse ratio, if you know the primary side, base values and primary side, how to calculate the secondary side of the transformer, base values for the secondary side of the transformer, use this formula. Finally, we know that primary side of the power, VA base, how to calculate the secondary side of the transformer, VA base, then inertia. Okay, just note down this formula. Just note down this formula in the formula note. Just recollect. Uh, when you are going to write an examination, just recollect all the formula. Uh, definitely, uh, you will you can solve this. You can solve any type of questions from this period. Questions. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification. Like, comment, and share.